Hi everybody, welcome to the Gigi and Ollie show. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm so glad you guys are with me today. What I'm going to be doing is, Oliver wanted me to start doing some more cooking videos. He loves cooking with me and watching me cook, but he's not here today. I'm going to do Gigi's chicken pot pie. So, I'm going to try and do a few shortcuts also. I have a pot of water on the back starting to boil so I can get the potatoes going a little bit quicker. I normally wouldn't, but I have a lot to do today. I have to go shopping. I have to go to the bank. I want to go buy a bunch of stuff because I want to do a great big giveaway next week. I will be doing a giveaway once a month, and they will be good, and they will be big. I promise you that. So first what I'm going to do is I have um, the leftover, what I have left of some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to season them up and get those going and I do season liberally especially when they're chicken breasts I um, would use chicken thighs but I couldn't find any at the store and what I season with is and most everything I have here is from Dollar Tree onion powder paprika and you want to dry the chicken breasts very well so the seasoning sticks to them much better garlic powder poultry seasoning this is not from Dollar Tree this is from Penske spices I buy them online it's a family owned family ran business great business they always send you free samples when you order they also send you free gifts throughout the year a blanket a um, coffee mug, magnets, just when you least expect it. I have my caraway Dutch oven going. I love this pan. This is my baby. I hardly ever use it because I cherish it. I treat it like a small child. I'm going to get olive oil in that. This bottle I got from Dollar Tree also. I believe it had vinegar written on it. So I took my sticker off my olive oil. And did that so now it says olive oil extra virgin olive oil on there I need to grab a fork and I'm doing this one a little different I'm going to be adding some broccoli and some mushrooms I have my chicken all dried one side seasoned and I put it on parchment paper so I don't dirty my uh, actually a couple layers of parchment paper so I don't dirty my cutting board I'm going to be cutting up a lot of vegetables, guys. And I'm going to be, I would normally do it in a pie crust and all that. I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to be making some um, biscuits, biscuit biscuits from Dollar Tree and putting them on the top. Other side, paprika, more onion powder. Can't forget the garlic powder. Love it. My salt, this is my little container from Dollar Tree. I swapped it out with my pink Himalayan salt. I love these little containers. I also took my pepper out of the can and put my pepper in there. I love it. Ollie's gonna like that too because he loves doing all the spices. And it's so precious. Whenever he does all the spices, he's always doing a little tune. Like, doo -doo -doo. I think he heard me doing it once and now he thinks like you gotta do that. Get this oil good and hot and dump in this, get in this chicken. I hope we hear a sizzle. Yep. You know what we're going to do? Make this easy. Dump in all that chicken. Now see how easy clean up that is? Get that out there in a sink or in there in a single layer. Get out the garbage, rinse off my hands. <coughs> and I have a bunch of stuff to tell you guys too. First off, I got these potatoes peeled. I'm gonna cut them up real quick and add them to the water the boiling water not to boil them all the way but just you know get them going a little bit help them along the way 
these chopped up. That water's almost boiling. I just want to, I parboil. And if you guys ever want to see me cook anything or bake anything, please let me know. I love this. I live for this. My whole Facebook, almost all my Facebook are all my meals I make. My dream is to someday have a restaurant, which could still happen. Anything can happen. Everybody assumed when I started this it would all be cooking, but I surprised everybody. I will be doing cooking, but I also want to do hauls. I want to do special stuff with Oliver. I want to do all that kind of stuff. This we're going to be um, doing all kinds of things. A hodgepodge, if you may. So I'm going to do four potatoes. I cook too much, too. I mean, when it comes to items, I cook like I'm cooking for an army. Can't help it. I've cooked for so many people my whole life that had huge appetites. But nothing that goes to waste. Nobody goes hungry. That's the thing, too, if I had a restaurant. I would not let anybody go hungry. I didn't care if you have money or not. You're not going hungry. So I got those potatoes in there. I will be using my homemade chicken stock for this. And what I do is I, I'm sorry you guys, I'm trying to get this just right. But I'm having a little bit of trouble today. I, um, I do it in a crock pot. I take all the bones, all left over from chicken, and I put it in a crock pot with the water, the seasonings. If you want to know those seasonings, I'll gladly tell you. And then leftover onions, carrots, celery, whatever I have. And let that cook all night. My carrots. We're going to get these chopped up. While I do this, I'll turn this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, guys. Sorry. I have a ghost in this house and he likes messing stuff up for me. All the time. I swear. So bear with me. You know I'm new at this. I'm doing the best I can. That's part of the fun. Live and learn. Make mistakes. That's how you learn stuff. You gotta make mistakes. And you gotta admit you make mistakes. A lot of us don't like to admit, but... Oh well, it's part of life. So I've got two carrots here. And I'm cutting up. Sorry that knife is so loud. But I'm not a chef. I'm just an at-home cook. Oh, and I want to say hello to Taco Patty and Chi-Town Girl. Love you guys. Go check out Chi-Town Girl. Love her videos. Love, love, love. She's awesome. They're big fans of Oliver's. How could you not be? <laughs> He's a character in his own. Cut up. Move those off to the side. Got a couple more little pieces to cut up. Don't want to drop that in there. A lot of fire. A carrot fire. I wish you guys could smell that chicken. Got those cut up. Hold on, guys. I dropped my dish towel. Knocked it off. I do that a lot. Now I'm going to grab a couple more things. And I want to show you guys something real quick too. I have purchased this from Dollar Tree for years. And the canola oil, I buy any one I find in a can and spray. You know, the spray cooking oil, canola oil, whatever they have. And I don't know, but this one, I can't. we can't use it. It stinks so bad. It made me and Oliver gag. So you might want to smell yours when you spray it. 
There's no reason that should smell like that, and it's never smelled like that before. This is all the celery I have. There was none at the store. Well, I wasn't spending $5 on celery hearts. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. cooking away and I will chop that up some of them saw it don't need chopped up it's already little but that it needs chopped up I'll do it when it's all cooked right now I just want to get a bunch of flavor my mushrooms I've already washed and patted dry I'm gonna give those a little bit of a chop I'm not gonna use them all it's a couple yeah couple handfuls Nothing perfect. I'm just chopping them up. Get those all chopped up. Some don't need chopped up, but the ones that do. However, you can keep them big if you want. I'm going to do them just a little bit smaller so I can have more spread throughout the pot pie. That's a big one. My goodness. I love making homemade pot pies. I make a lot of different kinds, but today I decided to add some extra vegetables to sneak in to everybody. Can never have too many vegetables, guys. And then, what we're, I'm sorry you guys fell earlier also. I apologize. What we're going to do is I'm going to, the broccoli is thawing, is thaw, I put it in the fridge last night, frozen bag, it's thawing out. The potatoes are boiling away. Like I said, I'm just going to parboil them. I want to get a small onion. Add him to the excitement. Get rid of the scraps. And yes, I do save a lot of these scraps. Put them in a bag and put them in the freezer. And then I use them for my homemade broths and stuff. much food waste in this world that there doesn't have to be, I think. I'm putting all these vegetables in at the same time, so I'm just mixing them all together right here on my cutting board. So you guys, everything I got cut up. Carrots, celery, onions, mushrooms. Potatoes going in the back pan, broccoli in the bag, the chicken is browning. This is going to be good, guys. Something else I wanted to show you guys I noticed. You can check it out. My, I think it's my last Dollar Tree haul, or the one before. I said when I bought the cookie cutters this year, I noticed they were significantly smaller, I thought. So when I was going through some Halloween stuff, because I bought some extras last year for a project that did not happen, I found the ones from last year. Yeah. Smaller. I bet it took like two to make these three. Get this chicken turned over. And all that deliciousness at the bottom is going to be all in the gravy we make. Yeah, these don't take long at all because of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. That's why I say, no matter what you're using, season liberally. Season liberally. Oh, I'll show you guys too. We have a video of all our Ollie's vegetables, me and his garden. These are from last night alone. Plus, we have more. I sent some home with Nick and Hannah. Cucumbers are so cute. This kid can garden, I'm telling you. It's amazing. I'm going to move those vegetables off to the side. And this chicken looks dark. It's from the seasonings. It's not burnt. Don't worry. I've been cooking chicken for many, many years. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, I still have the coffee cold. My candle I'm burning today is tomato, vine, and sage. My sister got this for me for uh, birthday. I almost said Christmas. It smells so good. I had them burning my one from Mother's Day, that giant coconut one from Nick and Hannah and Ollie and Baby Jack, and it finally ran out last night. It's done. I don't know if I told you guys, I have the oven on 375. That piece over. Ooh, that's hot. Flip over, baby. See that with all those seasonings? Beautiful. I love it. This burner gets so hot. Let that cook a couple more minutes, and I'll let it rest and cool while I um, start the vegetables because I don't want to cut that yet. Let that continue going. I want to tell you guys a couple other things. I want to mention a few women that um, I just absolutely love and cherish. I mentioned Chi Town Girl. Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, Queen Bee, that's all there is. Um, amazing giveaways, walkthroughs, hauls, she also, oh, dumpster driving, yes. Um, I also, Money Saving Megan, amazing walkthroughs, oh my gosh, so many a week it seems like. Can't get enough of her. Amazing woman, she's great. You guys need to go check these women out. If you like any of my content, you're going to love theirs. You may already have them added. Um, add them. Check them out. Help somebody out. It's all up to you guys, and we all need to stick together and help each other. That's what it's all about. Also, Twisted Gypsy. Check her out. She does some great videos also. All her videos are great. And Bunny Birdie Gator. Amazing walkthroughs. Can't get enough of her either. She does the Oh, I love her walkthroughs. Her and Money Saving Megan. Amazing, amazing walkthroughs. Chi Town Girl, mention her again. Great hauls. She keeps it real. I love that. There should be more women like that in the world. Butterfly Mom Creations and more. It's almost, she may be now. She's almost to a thousand subscribers. We got to get her there. Help somebody out. I mean, that's just do a good deed today. We have to, like I said, all stick together help each other grow and so everybody can have fun doing this make so many new friends it's amazing i cannot tell you the friends i've made beautiful amazing talented women it's just unbelievable supporters it's just great i love it i love it i love it okay i got that chicken out so it can rest that pan holds so much heat and that burner gets so hot, I swear. Now I'm going to add a little more olive oil to this. It comes out slow, guys. I'm not adding tons. Never add your garlic till the end. That's what you want to hear. Ooh, that carrot popped up in the air. He's like, get me out of here, you crazy woman. Yeah, I talk a lot. I've been doing this for years, doing cooking and talking like I'm doing a cooking show. That's always been my dream, too. Yes, yes, yes. The only thing is the handles to this pot, as much as I love it, do get... A little warm and I don't think they should I think that's dangerous want to coat those with olive oil so it's not gonna be greasy it's probably like a tablespoon total and it's all gonna especially mushrooms they soak everything up do not add your garlic till the very end you will regret it it'll get bitter it'll get ruined excuse me Ruin your whole dish. It's happened to the best of us. 
I do want to add a little bit of salt to make those vegetables move along a little quicker. Make it healthy sweat. Pepper, pepper, pepper. I will be adding some garlic powder. I'm talking about fresh garlic. I don't need any paprika in that. Onion powder. Since we are using mushrooms with the chicken, I do want to add a little bit of thyme. Do not go overboard. I can only find thyme at Kroger. If Dollar Tree carries it, please let me know. Can't find it. And I have a little bit of this chicken bouillon. Bouillon from Dollar Tree. I will add a little bit of that. You know what? I need to add a little bit of that to the potato water too. Good idea. Never thought of that because you add salt. I didn't add salt. I forgot. Let those continue cooking a couple more minutes. I'm not going to get these completely soft before I put them in the oven, but I do get a good start on them. And all that goodness at the bottom, you will be, that will all come up when I add the chicken broth. All those are going, ooh, look at the steam. beautiful beautiful but if you guys could go check out those women if you haven't already that would be amazing you'd really be helping people out like I said we have to stick together there's too much hate in this world and I don't even want to get on the subject of bullying right now because recently there's been so much violent bullying bullying in my hometown that I'm just absolutely sickened don't even get me going and I'm sickened at our local police department that's all I have to say and it's not just me it's upset. It's more than not. More than not. I think to go with this tonight, I'll chop up some of Ollie's tomatoes and maybe a couple of his cucumbers and just do a little salad. Something easy. He will be here Sunday. Maybe before. I'm going to go ahead and chop up this chicken. Some of it's already in little pieces, like I said, from being at the bottom of the bag, but it's fine. Some of those I just don't chop up. Ooh, that's hot. What do you expect, Amy? But yes, please, anything you guys would like to see me cook or bake, I would love to do it. Love, love, love. So I'm going to go grab a few things at Kroger because we have a cookout at my mom's Monday for Labor Day. I'm going to grab a few things for that. I'm going to go to Walmart. I've seen Twisted Gypsy and I bought a shirt that I absolutely love. I'm on search for that. Let me wash my hands, guys. I want to go see if I can find any more. I love finding dollar items now. I want to see if I can find any more dollar items at Dollar Tree. I really need to go out to Target. Chi-Town Girls Hall yesterday. OMG. She found, I have been looking. Well, I can't say that. I've been wanting because I haven't been out there yet. The little bottles with like the little scrap papers sh shredding them and they have different labels. I thought there were like four. She said there are eight. There's eight of them. I don't have one yet. They're a dollar each. I've got to find them. Stuff like that, I'll keep out all year on my shelves. Love, love, love. Let's let these vegetables cook away. And dollar, or dollar tree. And I want to go work on several things for the, I have plans for the giveaway next week. I will be doing a theme every time I do a giveaway. Now I'm going to drain these potatoes, add those in there, I love this spider from Dollar Tree, love it, and I did four potatoes, I know I told you guys, but I'm going to tell you again, I better get this out of the way before I get hurt. I'm very clumsy, y'all learn that. Very, very clumsy. Got those going, got that burner off. Done with this. 
I'll add a touch more oil since I just added all those potatoes. And I'm not trying to crisp up these potatoes. I'm just softening stuff and getting everything, you know, married together. That's a mistake. No, there are many happy marriages out there. Some of us just aren't as lucky and successful as others. That's a whole nother story. Okay, almost forgot about the broccoli, guys. I think some of these are going to be great big, I know it. Dollar Tree broccoli, frozen. I'm going to chop those up. Roughly, once again, nothing's perfect here. Nothing's perfect at all. Look at me, you can see that. Don't like what you see, don't look at it. That's always been my motto. Ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. I've instilled that in my kids since they were a little bitty. They're now grown men now. They think I'm nuts, but uh, not about that. They just think I'm nuts, but oh well. What kid don't think their parents are nuts? Rough chop on all this. Yes, I know a piece fell on the floor. We'll get that in a minute and toss him away. Christopher's dog, Petey's not here. He would be grabbing it instantly. He's like a human vacuum. Get the broccoli in there. Rinse off my hands again. I wash my hands so much it's ridiculous. <coughs> and I cannot get rid of this cough. I went to the doctor a week and a half ago. They put me on prednisone because I had to start some pneumonia again. Nothing has helped, so don't know what I got. They don't know what you got either. They just want to, they knew what you had. They wouldn't ask you when you walk in there what was wrong with you. That's what my dad always told me. My dad always says, you're the doctor. Tell me. And I'm working on saving money to go back down to see my dad. He's um suffering badly. I don't want to. He's suffering. The, um, since we've left, the prostate stage 4 cancer has spread to his kidneys and his bladder. And the pain, with the pain medication, he's not a pill person, but he got to the point where he had to take a couple. He's now taking them. He's afraid, you know, all the, everybody gets addicted. I said, you're taking them for pain. You're not taking them to get high. You're taking them for pain. You're not a pill person. You're just going to have to try... And sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Saturday was a very, very, very bad day for him. And it breaks my heart. Let those cook a couple more minutes, guys. And then I'm, what I'm going to do next is sprinkle some flour over it. Should I add any more seasoning? I can go ahead and add my garlic. Oh, my God. I'm almost out. Oh, I got a new jar, but we'll use this one up first. I bet this liquid in here, you could do something with pickles. Add it to pickles and stuff. Okay. Oh, a Bloody Mary. Mmm. Oh, that sounds good. Love Bloody Marys. I hate that when I ding, ding, ding. I hate it when people do it. Drives me nuts, and then I catch myself doing it. So I'll go ahead and add the rest of the seasonings I like to add before, because you always have to season. Onion powder, a little paprika. A li I love garlic. A little more garlic powder. Oh, a little poultry seasoning. Because I'm not going to add any more after this. I can't see if that's coming out. Guess we'll find out when we taste it, won't we? <laughs> Pepper. I love pepper. And I'm not going to add any more salt. I like it. People salt their own food. I always add a little bit, but I don't... I'm not a salty person. Ha ha. Let's get out a little carrot and see how... Ooh, he's hot. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Then no vegetables could be so good. Now... I like to add a pat of butter. 
Yes, I'm a butter person. Like Paula Dean. Two tablespoons of butter. That's a pat to me. No less. You can add more. Give that a gentle stir. I do not want my vegetables to fall apart. I want that butter to melt. And then I'm going to add sprinkle flour over everything. I'm going to go ahead and get these spices put up. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week and a happy Friday. So where else do I have to go? Kroger's, Walmart, Dollar Tree. I want to run in Dollar General, see if they have any more Dollar Halloween items. I'm sorry, our Dollar Generals around here suck. I see you ladies do walkthroughs on Dollar General, and I'm like, there is no way they're in Dollar General. I'm just shocked. I have about three and a half heaping, heaping tablespoons of flour. I sprinkle that over the vegetables. Yeah, that's enough. You want to cook that flour? Just toss it gently. I know the chicken's still there. I'm going to add it in at the end. Don't want to, it's going to be cooking in the oven a little more too. Let that cook out a second. I'm going to get my homemade chicken stock. It was frozen, so I'm sort of thawing it in the sink. M G. Wow. I got a hole in my bag. That sounds nasty. <laughs> that cook out. So I'm going to be adding some milk to this also. Look. Wow. Didn't have a hole in it a minute ago. What the hell? And we have one lonely piece of frozen broth at the bottom who will be joining in also. Okay. Sorry I keep snipping. I just can't get rid of this stuff. Give this a stir. This is going to thicken up like a delicious... Well, this is going to thicken up. Delicious gravy and vegetables. All soft and yummy. I'm going to add some water and some milk to that. I don't measure, guys. We'll say half, a, half three quarters cup. And then hot water. I'll say... A cup. Perfect. You want this to come to a boil. It's going to thicken up just like pot pie. Ooh, you could eat this. What thickens up right over mashed potatoes, rice, anything. Oh, yeah. If it gets a little too thick, Add more liquid, whether it be milk, water, chicken broth. You cannot take away, but you can always add. Now, I'm going to stir in all this delicious chicken. Oh, my God, that looks good. Wash my hands real quick. Turn that way down because... What I'm doing next, oh, look at that, you guys, delish. I'm going to turn that down, let that go a second, and what I'm going to do next, I normally wouldn't pre-cook them, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, we are today, because I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Bisquick biscuits, love them from um, Dollar Tree or anywhere. And I used a little bit of this the other day. I have buttermilk and I have buttermilk. 
I can't remember what I used a sprinkle of it in. So I'm going to do double and get these started in the oven while those are, while the, while the vegetables are cooking and that delicious gravy. Whoops. So half a cup in each. That one's a little less. I'm going to add nearly a cup. If I need to add a little more, I will. Mix these up. I love drop biscuits. My mom made them my whole life. Still makes them growing up. And either you love them or you hate them. I love them. Yeah, I need one more little touch of liquid. Not much. Not much at all. Mixed up. Okay, I'm done with this knife. I'm done with that. I need those pot holders there. Done with the fork. We'll lay that spoon there. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. So, next, what I'm going to do is I have my cookie sheet. I know it says I'm greased. I'm making it easier. I am addicted to parchment paper, I tell you. I tell you, I tell you. So, my handy dandy scooper. You can just drop them on the paper too. You can put them on top and bake them in the oven. But I'm not gonna do that. Wait, that is way too big. You know what we're gonna do? Hands. There's nothing better than cooking with your hands. That way, because that scooper is way too big for this. And I just want these a little bit rolled in balls and flattened a little bit. So I can sit, though, yeah, they're messy, but they're worth it. Well, you're not supposed to do them like this, but I am. And I want enough to go on top of my, I'll show you guys my pan in, my, in a minute. I love it. I'm running out of room, guys. Come on, messy. Doesn't matter what they look like. They all taste the same. Like I said, nothing's perfect here. And that's what they're supposed to be anyway, drop biscuits. I was just trying to get them a little bit more proportion so I could fit them on my pan perfect. Wash my hands. Yeah, they're just covered. I forgot half a biscuit on my hands. As I'm talking about food waste earlier. Oh, you can roll them out. You can do whatever you want. But I decided to do it a quick, easy way. And that stuff wants to stick to your hands. And you don't have to cook them all the way. You don't, like I said, you don't have to do it this way. Excuse me, guys. I've got to blow my nose. I had a sneezing fit earlier. These in the oven, I have it at 375. That was going. I want to get this cutting board out of the way. Okay. Get this a stir. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that chicken and vegetables in there. And that homemade gravy. Yeah, baby. Let that continue cooking. I have the biscuits in the oven. I will get right back with you guys as soon as those biscuits come out. And then I'll show you how I finish it up. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um... I don't want to, I might as well just be open and honest. Um, I just got a phone call from the Washington, Illinois EMTs. My son, my oldest boy, Christopher, who suffers from a rare form of epilepsy, has fight and flight seizures due to a car accident he was in several years ago. He had one and got out of the house. Thank God a neighbor was there to help him and called 911. 
He's on his way to me right now. Um, please keep him in your prayers. I put all the filling in my pan. Um, sorry, I'm a nervous wreck. This is my Gigi's kitchen pan that my mom got me for Mother's Day. I'm getting the biscuits out of the oven. Oh, well, Lord, it's going to be hell for a few days now. Now, what I do next is these are almost partially cooked all the way. Sorry, I'm shaking. I set all the biscuits on top. Squeeze them in. Squeeze them in. I'll pop that back in the oven for a few minutes. <sighs> I feel like talking to you guys might keep me calm till he gets here, okay? I'm sorry. Um, he has a rescue dog, Petey, a pit bull. I'm scared to death of dogs till I met Petey. I, he's the most kindest dog ever. And he knows when Christopher's getting ready to have a seizure. He'll alert us, but he always runs. He gets scared, but he always goes to the same spot when he gets out. They didn't get him this time. I don't know if he got loose this time yet. I don't know the details, but we've had to get him out of the pound a couple times because of this, even though he has a chip and a tag and shots and everything. Um, so Christopher will be with me because he lives alone. He'll be coming with me and staying for a few days. So I, I will not be going shopping today. Um... I will be going shopping you know, in a couple days. Lord, let us and everything be safe and okay. That's the least of my worries right now, you guys. But I don't want to let you guys down, you know? I'm trying to do this and be successful for Ollie and everybody and show everybody I can succeed. And I just get worried. My sons, my boys are my life. I apologize. Please keep him in your prayers. These um, seizures are horrible, and he doesn't even know he's having them. And when they call, they're called fight and flight, they are fight and flight. And he always tries to get out of wherever he is. So I won't be sleeping for the next couple days because I will be watching him like a hawk. Because he likes, he'll have them in his sleep sometimes too. Um, I won't even be eating this now, I have no appetite, but... Christopher wouldn't eat it even if he, but after he has seizures, he can't eat a while because everything tastes horrible. I'm rambling, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm a nervous wreck. <sighs> About a year ago, we started bringing, I started getting him every time because when we take him to the hospital, it's me doing everything anyway. Um, they're in shock at the seizures they see because it is like a true horror movie. And they're neurologists. They should be know what the hell's going on. Because I'm screaming for help every time. Because it takes several people to hold this young man down. And he's about six foot two and 160 pounds. And when he has these, it's like battling three or four men. Exhausting, emotionally, mentally, heartbreaking and draining. Devastating. Um, I don't want to know what else to say. Um, I love you all. You're all my beautiful charms. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. If Christopher's up to it later, I might do a little video with Petey. I'd like you all to meet Petey. He's like a hero to me. And, um, I'll take this out of the oven. Because I know these biscuits are done. But, um, this is my Gigi's, um, oh my God, what did I make? Chicken, homemade chicken pot pie. I love you all. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell like Ollie says. I'm seeing her eating crumbs. I'm losing my mind off the pan, the biscuits. Um, everybody take care and have, take care of yourselves and have a wonderful day. I love you all, and please keep my boy Christopher in your prayers. Thank you, everybody. And I apologize this video got messed up like this, but I was keeping it real with you guys, okay? I love you all.